Get your backpack ready. It's time to brainstorm another trip. This week in our whirlwind tour of the history of science, let's travel to late medieval Europe, the 14th century or 1300s. This is the era of Dante and Chaucer. I hope you'll make some meaningful and unexpected discoveries this week as we explore the strange new world of the late Middle Ages. Though we have just a limited time to visit, we'll not be like tourists in Paris, Oxford, or Bologna who seek fast food at McDonald's. Our aim will be to get to know the medieval scientists in terms of their own place and time, not just in terms of modern science. What do you appreciate most about late medieval art? Have you seen a book of ours? Have you read Dante or Chaucer or any other work of late medieval literature? Dante was proficient in astronomy, and Chaucer wrote an impressive treatise on the astrolabe. As always, when we're planning a trip, we want to better understand what people in this place and time were up to. What are some similarities between late medieval civilization and our culture today? How might these similarities help us to understand late medieval science? And what are some differences between our culture and late medieval civilization? How might these differences pose an obstacle to our understanding of late medieval science? What do you think might be the chief barrier or prejudice that obstructs modern understanding of science in the late Middle Ages? Who is your favorite medieval scientist? If you can't think of any, what might that suggest about our, our understanding of the history of science? This week we will meet, among others, three major 14th century scientists, Nicola Rem, Jean Buridan, and William Ockham. Do you remember the shape of the Earth assignment from the first week? What did you think of Nicola Rem, the main narrator of that dialogue? What do you already know about Buridan or Ockham? Please share your thoughts on these things, or feel free to revisit last week's starting assumptions and respond to any questions that you didn't mention last week. What are your starting assumptions?